What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. I'll be honest, though. Tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done OK. I look at Jack. I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't going to be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't going to marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait. Get out of there! All right, all right. Go on! Scat! Shh. about that stew. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, and now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks, stop. Emergency, stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply, stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request, now, is it? I guess not. And she saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. Oh, about the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Well, uh, you know. A little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. John! Wait! Maybe I should meet this McFarlane woman. Well, come on, man. Let's get going. I don't think I can 
let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while you were off supporting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack's seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, what did she marry? This Tony McFarland. No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes, mouth, nose, that kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman as fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom from John Marston. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous so much as curious. You heard what she wrote. It's just some corn. She saved my life, and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. How did she save your life, anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting on him now. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Of Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fools. Bill weren't so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, Bill took it on. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. Better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe. But there was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John. And they hated you for it. Come on! Where did they take you? Who? Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very fun. So, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Sons of bitches. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. It was the wait. I didn't know if you was coming back. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise. Thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarlane. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail? In my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. So that was the famous Bonnie. 
That was her, all right. She's pretty. She's normal, like I said. Well, you always wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing. The perfect rancher's wife, if I ever saw one. I already got a rancher's wife. I'm only teasing. I like her, and I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the time, anyway. The McFarlands are good people. She did blush redder than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on women. You clearly had one too many blows to the head. You ain't wrong about that, Mrs. Marston. That's quite a ranch they got there. That'll be us someday. As soon as we get back on our feet. I don't know, John. How many times can we start again? An outlaw and a working girl. We ain't exactly farmers. We are now. Forget that life. It's over. Do you really believe that? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. It's never over. You think those government men are just gonna leave us alone now? The old gang's dead. I did what they asked. And that's it? The life is proud, forgiven? We're back together, ain't we? Till they decide you owe them something else. Sometimes I think I was the stupid one for believing I could get out. Maybe Dutch, Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. You ain't perfect, John, and I sure ain't. But you're better than they are, than they were. Maybe we can't change, but we gotta try for Jack's sake. Even if we have to start again a hundred times, it's better than going back to what we were. How's Jack doing? Angry, upset. He's been through a lot. I hope he's gonna be all right. It's gonna take time. For a while, his world was safe. Normal, even. Then it got turned upside down again. He ain't saying much about it. I've tried to talk to him, but how do you explain any of this? What do you say when he asks about Uncle Bill and Uncle Dutt? They were his family when he was a little boy. He hides away in those books of his. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world's done him many favors. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with the gang. That's no lie for a boy. We did our best to protect him. Come on, John. He saw things no boy should see. Well, now we got a chance to make it right. Hey, John. I guess I better go fix us something to eat. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. What? I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. <laughs> so, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. <laughs> very funny, Pa. <laughs> I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. Come on, 
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. Go get him, boy. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. about this. Look, he picked up a scent. Come on. What do you want me to say, Carl? Yippee? Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. You know, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves. She'd hunt goats with them and everything. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon? I'm just saying. Maybe you spend too much time with your head in those books. Well, I thought you and Ma wanted me to read. We do. So long as you're not, well, hiding from the real world. Jack, there's one up ahead. Hey. Go. Show you how to cut the meat. I thought it was gonna get away. That was great, Paul. You just gotta wait for the right shot, not rush it. Woo! That's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. Shouldn't we be going? All right. Let's see if we can find some more. Go on, Rufus. Yeah. Shot, Jack? Of course, Paul. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch at it. I know. I saw how you did it. If you say so. All right. When he finds him, you take the lead. Where is it, boy? Find him, Rufus. Go on, boy. You can do it, Rufus! That's it. Good boy. What you got for us, Rufus? Look, they're over there. Get after them. do this. 
saw how I cut the meat, Jack. Now it's your turn. Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Did you see me? You did good, son. Can we shoot some more? Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. You know, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? Whoa! You wait here. I'll be just a moment. Hey, mister. Well, let's see what you got. I hope you enjoy a smooth ride. Hope you like it. All done. Let's head home. How much did you make? Never you mind. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I did half the work. That isn't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. I'll be rich one day. Then you'll see. I sure hope so. Then you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. We ain't old. Uncle's old. Well, he should be in a museum. Yeah, preserved in whiskey for the next thousand years. So, you enjoy your first hunting trip? It was great, Paul. Herding cows, hunting elk. You're growing up. I'm proud of it. I always told you I wanted to help. You know, you and me, we work hard. We can make something of this farm. much fun I can't really believe it just like in the books we'll do it again soon now get to your chores you're tensing up I'm not you are your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. 
I guess not. No showman, you'll just, you'll just run off again or something. It's better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? Safer with two. Okay. All right, let's go. Stay on Rufus now. Let's go. Go. Find us a wolf, boy. Get after him, boy. Smell, boy. Come on. Are you coming or not? Yeah. Stay close, Jack! That's his signal. Come on. I thought. Come on! How many did we kill? They won't be after our cattle for a while. That was some good 
good shooting, son. So can I go out hunting by myself now? Hold on there, cowboy. You ain't ready for that yet. One step at a time. Ah, uh, please, Pa. We'll go out again soon. Catch something nice for your ma to cook. I reckon I can kill a bear, no problem. I ain't gonna tell you again, Jack. You don't leave the farm without checking with me first, you hear? Uh, yes, sir, I hear you. Yeah. Paul, can I ask you something? Of course. Were you a murderer? What? That place where they held us. Pa shouted at a guard one time, and he yelled that you were a murderer. Maybe. But I live my life believing there's a difference between killing and murdering. Not for the person who's dead. No. And I guess I've been both. That's how it goes. We all do what we have to to survive. And sometimes it ain't pretty. And in the end, we pay the price for what we did. Like those rustlers who attacked our cattle? Exactly. Look, when I was a kid, things were different. Rules were different, but that's over now. Let's go. <laughs> All we did was kill a few wolves. Well, I read a book about a father and son who robbed banks. One arm Willie. That was his name. I'm happy with my two arms, if you don't mind. Just imagine it, though. John and Jack Fox. Those one and men in the West. And what about your ma? Well, I mean, we still come home. You live in a dream world. It ain't like they tell it in books. And it ain't no way to live life. It was ugly and brutal. All right. You'll have a farm of your own. You can read and write. Don't waste your life, son. Don't live like I had to. Come on. Turned into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. 